Hello everyone and welcome again. In this video we're going to solve the last question of the Codility lesson number 5, which is the passing cars problem. So we're going to write our solution in Python and in C++, but first let's start by presenting the problem and the algorithm we are going to use. So we are given an array of numbers 0 and 1, and these numbers represent cars going in two different directions. 0 represents cars going east, and the number 1 represents cars going west, and we have to count the number of crossing cars. For example, these two elements, here are the first crossing couples, then you have another crossing couple, and then a third crossing couple. Then we have a fourth one, a fifth one, and in total we have five pairs of crossing cars. And we have to create an algorithm to find this number in the most efficient way. Of course we can always go with a brute approach, where we can use two embedded for loops. Starting with the first car, we check the cars it's going to cross. Then we move to the second car and we check all the other cars and so on, until we have checked all the cars of the array. But this solution is not efficient, and there's a better way of doing this. Using one for loop, we can scan the elements of the array, starting with the first element, and then we're going to count the cars going east, and keep this number in a variable. And every time we meet a car going west, we know that it will cross with the cars that we've already counted going east. So I'm going to need a variable that I would call SE, meaning the sum of cars going east. And at first, in this example, the number of cars for the first element, we have a car going east, so the number of cars going east is equal to one. Then the second car here uh, has a variable one, meaning it's going west. So this number, SE, is still equal to one. We have only one car so far, go in east, which is the first element of the array. Then the third element of the array is also a car going east. So now we have two cars going east, and this is why SE is equal to 2. And it's going to remain 2 until the end of the array, because there are no other cars going east. Notice that the value of SE will only change where we have cars with value 0, meaning cars going east. At this point, and at this point. Then every time we will meet a car with an index 1, meaning going west, we know it's going to cross with a certain number of cars going east, and this number is provided by the value of SE at a certain position. So these three cars going west are going to cross with one car going east, then this one is going to cross with two cars going east, and the third car going west is going to cross with two cars going east. And these numbers are provided by the value of SE. So at this stage, I'm going to introduce another variable, which is the sum of the pairs of crossing cars. And every time we see a car going west, we can add the number of the variable SE, cars going east, to our S variable, meaning the variable holding the total number of crossing cars. So our first car going west is this one. Therefore, at this particular position, I will add the value of SE to the variable S. Then the second car going west is at this position. So I'm going to add the value of SE, which is equal to 2, to the previous value of S, the total sum. So 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. Now S is equal to 3. Then we have a third car going west. And I'm going to add the value of SE, which is equal to 2, to the previous value of the total number of crossing cars, which is 3. So 3 plus 2 is equal to 5, which is the return result of our solution function, since this represents the total number of crossing cars. So this is our solution function. It takes one parameter, the array A, and we are going to start by defining our variable SE that is equal to 0 and that it will hold the number of cars going east, and I'm going also to define the sum, the total sum of crossing pairs, s equal to zero. And we have to define it as a long, long int because at some point I noticed its value is exceeding the, uh, the maximum integer value, and it was giving me some errors. I had only 90% for the solution. For one case, it wasn't running properly. Then we are going to um, use a for loop between 0 and the size of our array, our vector. And I'm going to test if a car is going east, meaning if ai is equal to 0, 
then we have to increment SE, the variable, by one. And if we see a car going west, meaning if AI is equal to one, we're going to add the so far encountered SE cars going east to the number of crossing pairs, meaning the total sum, which is small s here. So S plus is equal to SE. And then when we finish, we have to test if the value of s is higher than 10 to 9. Then in this case, we have to return minus 1. And this is a condition that is required by this description of the problem. It's nothing really related to our algorithm. And when I'm finished, I can simply return the value of s. In Python, we follow a similar approach. We have our solution function taking one parameter, the list a. And I'm going to start by defining the first variable, se, the number of cars going east equal to zero at this stage and the total sum of crossing cars which is also equal to zero then i'm going to use a for loop using i going from zero to length of a and if a i is equal to zero meaning if i have a car going east i'm going to increment the sum of the cars going east se plus equal one otherwise if a i is equal one meaning if a car is going west I'm going to add the number of the cars going east, SE, to the total sum of crossing cars, because this car here that we've just seen equal to one going west is going to cross with all the cars that we've previously seen going east. Then when this is finished, when this for loop is finished, I'm going to test uh, this condition here. If S is greater than 10 to nine, then I'm going to return minus one. Again, this is something uh, that is required by uh, the description of the problem. It's nothing related to our algorithm. If not, then I could simply return S, the sum of pairs of crossing cars. And that's it. I hope you guys liked it. Stay tuned for more and see you next time.